The world is changing, and so is the way we do things. The way we play games, watch movies, and listen to music. Gaming has come a long way. For those of you that grew up in the early 2000s, this is probably what you grew up playing. But now it's probably something like this. Not only have there been massive changes in graphics and gameplay, but something as simple as having a physical game to put in a console, with things like Steam and Xbox Game Pass, as well as just the convenience of downloading the game from your console store, the physical game market is dying. From video game retailer Game in the UK set to stop selling pre-owned games, to US retailer GameStop shutting down locations all across the country, the future is sadly looking digital. Now with the consoles I've got here, I don't have a lot of the charges and connectors for them, but I do have them for my Nintendo Wii. And uh, it would be rude of me to not boot it up and give it a go, wouldn't it? Safety first. Ooh, all right. Lucia. <laughs> You're going down, Lucia, son. You're going down. Right, I've got you there for a bit. You got a bit of a crotch shot, unfortunately, but you have to see this pure athleticism. <laughs> it's a strike! <laughs> Now I'm not here to give you a speech about how streaming is ruining the movie industry, maybe in another video, but what I am going to talk about is DVDs. I like collecting DVDs, as illustrated in my previous video. Skip it up and down up. But it's not just for the sake of collection. There are instances of films not being available to stream on multiple different platforms, and sometimes not even available to buy or rent. Now recently I had the weird desire to watch Seed of Chucky. Yeah, I know, weird choice or whatever. But not only was it not available on any of the free streaming services that I subscribed to, it wasn't even available to buy. I had to resort to buying it via the CEX app. And even then, there were only three copies left all of which was second or third hand. So in the future, if you don't have your favorite film on DVD or Blu-ray, you may not be able to watch it at all. Now what's another thing you get with DVDs that you don't get with streaming? The DVD menu and special features. We might never experience again falling asleep mid-movie and waking up to this. And then of course the special features. Do I want to see how they made Superbad? Of course I do. Why the would it be between that or Muhammad? Now, I'm gonna change my tune on this a little bit. Pun intended. I actually think the way we listen to music is better now. It's easier, quicker, and cheaper. It's definitely not better for the artists though. They are being extremely underpaid for the amount of streams they get. But do you remember paying 99p per song? Even when it came to CDs too, do you remember you'd get one little scratch and then... That's it. Yes, I know I'm a hypocrite because I argued that these same things are bad for movies. Having them easily available, having them being taken off services at will. In this case, it's still better to own physical copies. But let's be honest, with the amount of music that we listen to these days, you're not going to have space for all of those. I think just alone on Spotify, I've got over 2,000 songs. Am I going to buy each individual album of that artist just for the one song? No. But unlike movies and games, physical music media is on the rise, especially vinyls. Last year alone in the US, 43 million vinyls were sold, which brought in an estimated $1.4 billion. I have one vinyl, but no vinyl player. And yes, that is because I'm a complete poser. Now listen, times change. I'm aware of that. Some of these things, we view them in such a high regard purely because of the nostalgia attached to them. We love these sort of things as a kid, just in the same way that our parents and grandparents view things from their time as better than things today, which isn't always the reality. Still waiting on that Xbox 720 to come out. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I've been Harrison A, and I will see you when I see you. Outro. <laughs>